Good morning and welcome to Study IQ. I am Prashant Mamani. I hope you all are doing good today. It's 12th July. Let's see what we have got in the Hindu today. I have got many important uh, financial news as well for you guys uh, from uh, some pink papers. But before that, let's have a positive start. As soon as the fear approaches near, attack and destroy it. Don't give it a chair to sit down, right? Uh, and when we are talking about fear here, basically you can take it as a particular subject that you are not comfortable with. What you can do is give everything that you have, right? And I will reckon you guys to start studying or practicing that particular subject first thing in the morning. So for the whole day, you will be, you know, that thing, that baggage will not be there in your mind. With this, dear friends, uh, this is our table, as you can see on your screen, right? Uh, that apart from this article here, this one is about mercenary conservation, allowing for private forests can lead to illegal activities and change the natural behavior of wildlife, something that is going on in uh, South Africa or different parts of Africa. Uh, something similar we are trying to uh, produce here. Uh, apart from that, there is no article that we haven't talked about in detail. This one is about Pakistan. Yesterday we talked about Pakistan's situation, political situation and what's going on in Pakistan for a very long period of time. This one and this article, these two articles are based on uh, Punjab's drugs problem. Uh, this one is about a clean cooking strategy. Uh, some important facts uh, that we will find about different gases and of course uh, have uh, or um, have of course this uh, you know option or choice of uh, of a fuel uh, will impact and what we should do about it and here it is about hacky we have talked about many a times about hacky but again right we'll quickly go through it and this one is a pure political article i have dropped this one from our our list with this dear friends i would like to introduce all of you to our pen drive and tablet courses as you can see on your screen we have covered many important exams this includes SSE and bank courses upsc exams optional courses are there state level public service commission courses are covered by us defense exams nabad rbi professional courses and much more on studyiq.com with this dear friends uh, make sure you check out test series.studyiq.com to find out more about our test series uh, in total you will be provided with 40 test series and i will share the pdf of uh, today's discussion on my facebook page and twitter handle help yourself with it and please make sure that you share it with other people as well and don't forget to hit the like button now dear friends let's start with this difficult campaign we have talked about this particular item yesterday in detail right so i'm not going into all those i'm not going to repeat it of course right it would be very boring for regular students and if you are new if you are the first timer then i would say that check out yesterday's video now uh, back in 2013, this was the first time in the history of Pakistan, right, uh, that this transfer of power from one democratically elected government to another one was realized for the first time. Do you know this thing? This is, uh, this is a very, you can say, disturbing fact uh, about Pakistan that back in 2013, this was the first time. Uh, apart from that, if you go through the history, you will find that uh, a major chunk of uh, this timeline uh, has been conquered by or ruled by uh, this military setup and uh, then you find in between right uh, this uh, democratically elected governments uh, but they hardly finish their full term and this sort of things uh, have been going on in the history of political history of Pakistan since its birth now what we find again the uh, right to uh, this awami national party leader harun bilor uh, he was killed basically and he is the second member from his family to be assassinated and this also indicates uh, right this is dark reality of pakistan that if you don't behave uh, the way military wants you to behave and if you are not following this you know this extremist or this islamist line uh, when i say islamist line it's nothing to do with islam it's more about this uh, you know this hardcore uh, people uh, they, they 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 have set up their own rules uh, and they want uh, you know they don't want people to think basically this is the main thing right they don't want you to be logical if you read quran then you will find that quran the first chapter of quran is about reading there is a chapter on pen on quran right uh, so quran if you if you go through it then you'll find that it's nothing what these people are saying right so 
if you don't follow what military and this uh, different uh, hardcore people or this uh, extremists are saying then they will kill you this is a reality in pakistan the other thing is uh, if you go through this whole environment this political environment this election environment then we find that <laughs> by no way we can say that it is going to be a free and fair election not at all right uh, if if you are if you are bringing out proper issues right issues then you will be uh, you will be switched off to by these people so this is not free and fair and it's very sad for pakistan and it's of course sad for india as well because we are we cannot change our neighbor isn't it uh, the things that are going on in pakistan will impact us for a very long period of time now two different articles i have made them into one right i have clubbed them together i remember maybe uh, two or three days ago isn't it uh, we were talking about uh, this whole thing uh, of uh, drugs how we need to sort it out and things like that so here is an interesting corridor that i would like to draw your attention at and this is called golden crescent uh, crescent basically means you know the moon uh, uh, this this arc uh, that this moon forms uh, this is called uh, crescent so this golden crescent includes iran afghanistan and pakistan and of course we know that uh, our punjab the state of punjab you have a state of punjab in pakistan as well and we have it in our portion as well so punjab has a 553 kilometer border with pakistan and uh, this is one of the reason why this drugs and other substances opium and heroin right they enter into our country and from here the sad thing is from punjab it is distributed in different parts of our countries and uh, there is also a link between drugs and terror it is also said many a times uh, that uh, this people who are producing uh, these poppy seeds and things in afghanistan right uh, those portions are controlled by taliban and uh, what they do is they sell these items uh, to different countries and uh, they make money out of it and uh, they buy weapons and other things so there is a direct link it is also said many a times that uh, this sort of things are of course not for free right but uh, uh, isi and other agencies are involved uh, in, in making sure that this sort of items are supplied in india uh, this will destroy youngsters create as much as damage as you can you know it will keep this uh, this police as well as this uh, border guarding agencies bit busy so this is also said right i'm not that much sure about it but i'm sure about this thing i have read many a times about this thing in many different books uh, on terrorism and this sort of smuggling and things that uh, most of the time you find this uh, people right criminals or this sort of band organizations they are the ones who are running this sort of cartels and uh, i think we were talking about on sunday i told you right uh, that drugs is number two uh, arms is uh, number one and uh, uh, drugs is I, I beg your pardon i think arms is number two uh, and drugs is number one it, but we have talked about this thing uh, at present as i'm speaking with you guys i can't remember exactly but we have talked about it last sunday anyways now the problem is uh, department of revenue back in 2009 they came out with a very different you can say way of taking this whole thing uh, investigating it or how we interpret uh, this uh, this crime now if you have a certain amount of quantity with you right then this law that was introduced by department of revenue it makes no difference right there is no mechanism to differentiate whether you are a trafficker whether you are a peddler whether you are a mule or whether you are a user if you don't differentiate between all these people see a user could be an innocent person right uh, that person would be earlier on a known drug consuming person like you and i but someone right might have forced him or her or maybe you know bad company whatever and now this person wants to get out of it but he or she cannot so it's different when you compare it with peddlers and traffickers because they are the ones who are going to make money out of it isn't it particularly this first three categories so punishments should be a bit harsher on them uh, rather than this person this person requires h-e-l-p help 
the other thing is investigation as well the way it was conducted uh, you cannot segment between this again trafficker mules users and because of this thing we find so many people are behind the bars in Punjab the other thing is if you want to change see many a times I do find this sort of comments in, in the comment section that I am explaining things uh, you know very few people do complain about this thing and as I told you I go through all all the comments right the negative positive I go uh, through all of them the thing is when we were talking about this drug problem for the first time remember I told you this thing that decriminalizing addiction if you treat the same way right a, a user just like a peddler then this is not going to help us so we have, when we analyze things here in detail it is for everyone it is for that person who has just started preparation or is new to this video and I also make sure that there is something for regular listeners as well as this pros who have appeared in mains examination and prelims examination they have cracked prelims and mains you know so bear with me if if, if you find many a times some things are explained it's there is nothing called over explanation it's it's how you take it it's it's a revision as well isn't it isn't it a revision you are getting a free revision uh, so you are watching things and you are listening to it this is the best way of revising things uh, I believe now uh, we need to of course uh, you know set up more and more treatment centers this rehabilitation centers world-class rehabilitation facilities only this thing will help us to sort out this demand side and then we can get rid of this supply side a clean cooking strategy very interesting article right uh, it's very interesting line here as well energy use a key indicator of living standards right energy use how much energy you are using when I say energy I mean to say your uh, electricity uh, here this article is particularly talking about this uh, cooking gas or, or cooking energy right fuel that is required for cooking and here again we are specifically talking about household cooking we are not talking about restaurants and uh, other places right uh, we are just talking about household so the thing is it will it will it is an indicator of your uh, living standards at the same time if you have access to clean uh, affordable accessible energy right then this is going to lift your living standard as well so it's a sort of you know complementary thing uh, this is how it looks right uh, your energy consumption will define your living standard and if you have access to this thing then it will lift your living standard so it's complementary now the thing is as far as our country is concerned India on an average right uh, we spend five to six percent of our total expenditure for cooking fuel all across the board in our country it's an average five to six percent so if you're earning hundred rupees uh, per month then uh, maybe five to six rupees will be spent for uh, this uh, cooking fuel and uh, there are many factors that will uh, that will decide uh, your cooking fuel uh, your socio-economic uh, background uh, easy access how easily cooking gas or wood or any other item is accessible availability of that thing in your local market so of course easy access also includes uh, money right uh, remember this thing it's not just about this gas bottle is available or that shop is just nearby your house no that could be avail availability but easy access is it can also include this money factor can you uh, with your income access the things that are available in the market price of fuel household income culture or lifestyle and government policies uh, very important government policies uh, plays a very important role in uh, fuel you know, deciding which fuel will be used in our household now the thing is that if you go through all different fuels like firewood pellet biogas kerosene uh, then you have liquefied petroleum gas or LPG piped natural gas that is PNG biogas is the lowest effective greenhouse gas emitter this is the best as far as environment is concerned the cleanest and then you can number two could be PNG and number three could be 
LPG. So, of course, what we need is biogas. Biogas and PNG are the best cooking energy options as well. Uh, piped natural gas. Uh, I have talked about this thing in a special video lecture. Uh, and basically, Gujarat has uh, the state of Gujarat. They have started uh, this thing that, uh, you know, all district headquarters uh, will get to this uh, piped natural gas and Gujarat is going to be the first country, uh, first state in our country uh, to, to you know, provide connection to each and every household uh, in a very short period of time. They will be provided with this, uh, each and every household will be connected with this uh, piped natural gas. Uh, benefits of piped natural gas is that you have meter, right? You don't have to wait for bottles. This is a big issue for uh, uh, for for women isn't it uh, for housewife uh, if uh, she runs out of this uh, bottled gas does she have to wait for another one it's always a, a sort of tension you know because it is very important uh, that without that your kitchen will come to a chalk cold but uh, if you have this pipe natural gas then uh, 24 by 7 you will be having access to this energy the other thing that i would like to add here is uh, one more thing that uh, the positive side of this uh, bottled gas is its flexibility. Uh, it can be transported to mountainous area and other places. So uh, it's a flexibility. We don't want to get rid of it completely from our country. right? But it should be there as an option. If you want to travel somewhere and things like that, then you should be able to access this thing. Now, cooking fuel... They do emit uh, various different kinds of toxic pollutants, as you can see here, right? And it is also said uh, that if you're using this low, this traditional chulas where you use wood as your uh, as your fuel, it will harm you for one hour if you are cooking on it. Then, roughly speaking, 200 cigarettes, right? Equivalent smoke will you will be exposed to this much smoke. So you can imagine, right? Uh, this is one of the reasons why. Many women in our country they suffer from respiratory diseases when they get, uh, when they when they age, you know. And one of the reason is that uh, in their earlier days or even today they are cooking on this chulas. Chulas. If you cook on chulas, if you eat items that are cooked on chulas, they uh, they have their own taste, you know. But it is very dangerous and harmful for the ladies. At the same time, it is number one com contributor as far as this. Uh, household pollution is concerned right kids from the very beginning from a very sm a small age uh, they are exposed to this sort of uh, toxic pollutants and this impacts their whole life uh, we have as a country introduced this Pradhan Mantri Ujwala Yojana back in 2016 and so far 8 crore families so you can multiply roughly speaking 8 into 5 so we are talking about 40 crore people they have access to clean or you can say LPG connection, they have reasonably clean, right? Much more cleaner than uh, when you compare it with this traditional fuel like wood. And when you go there to fetch wood, you are wasting your time. It's a, it's a labor activity. It's dangerous as well. You have to go in the jungle side, right? And uh, many times snake bites and uh, this uh, scorpion bites, uh, criminal activities and other things do take place. You cannot spend enough time for your kids, for your elderly people who, uh, who require care. But when you have this energy bottle delivered at your household, you don't have to go out. You can spend your time with your kids and your loved ones, right? No more exposure to this snake bites and animal bites and other things. So it's a it's a win-win situation for uh, for of course uh, for for the woman. And one more thing with this uh, Ujwala Yojana is that uh, heads off to that person who has suggested this thing that the connection is given in the name of the lady of the house and this elevates her respect as well in the family right this is a thing that may look not that big to you guys but go and check out those families uh, where this bottle cylinder is a big innovation you know it's a big introduction in their household you'll find that uh, people will you know that mem family members they will have a sort of uh, a respect for that lady because the connection is on her name now consumption based subsidy is something that is not available on biogas and lpg so this is a thing that we need to work on there is a very 
uh, you can say decentralized way of producing biogas uh, and a successful example is coming from Hoshiarpur Punjab where 100 cubic meter biogas plant is developed over there right it is providing it is providing this piped cooking biogas to 44 households and a school on regular basis we need to invest we need to provide financial support to this sort of biogas uh, decentralized plants in different parts of our country we can learn from this Hoshiarpur model we can also learn from other countries if they have any sort of best practices or best models we can implement them over here uh, this will create of course uh, grassroots level jobs right uh, generation of employment you don't have to migrate to the city area manufacturing can take place as well you know you can manufacturing manufacture these pipes and other things so small small factories uh, you will find so this will you know this whole ecosystem decentralized ecosystem will be created which is a good opportunity no doubt the other thing is consumption based subsidies uh, needs to be replaced with a functional subsidies based on your household income this is very important thing a person who or a family who actually deserves subsidy that family only should be provided with subsidy and we need to create awareness about all these things and uh, people should have choice as I told you right the flexibility you should be able to get this pipe natural gas at the same time you should have flexibility to get this uh, bottled uh, cylinder and other items moving on to another item this is about hecky we have talked about hecky many a times I'll just give you one line here so that uh, things you can recollect what we have talked about earlier on hecky higher commission higher education commission of our country it is going to replace university let me write it down for you uh, the main word here university grants commission so this is the main word here grants uh, and commission that is empowered to to give you to give money to distribute money to provide grants to different universities so it was providing money at the same time the main job of UGC was to give grants but after that it started because I am giving you you know your pocket money I will tell you where to spend and where not to spend just like our daddy so in the same way UGC started behaving like a big daddy for for all these different universities it became more and more centralized and all these things so now we as a country right as a government have decided that we are going to make it more decentralized and more autonomy will be provided and things like that so hecky will focus on academic matters and as far as money is concerned ministry that is human resource development ministry will distribute money so big red flag politicians will decide whom to give how much now prakash javdekar who is our hrd minister has just given 10 days to stakeholders to submit their feedback on this bill I don't have to say this thing I'm sure we are all aware about this thing that education is the only tool that we have in our hand if we want to change the face of our country if if we want to get rid of all these criminal activities and all these rapes and all these negative things that is uh, that is surrounding us right uh, we need to educate ourselves we need to educate our youngsters the more educated when we say education it's not just about degrees of course you know that it's more than that understanding right your behavior everything matters so this is all part of your overall education and development so education is a very important tool and uh, if we are talking about this important tool that is important for our nation building then how can you just give 10 days to stakeholders to submit their feedback so this is again a sort of uh, authoritarianism by Prakash Javdekar I would say the other thing is uh, he, he is talking about more autonomy but there are six concerns uh, that I will take you through the first concern is that government has always talked about this thing and with Hecky as well Mr. Javdekar said that the government is working on the principle of minimum government and maximum governance but when you see the structure of this commission and advisory council of this Hecky right how they are removed how they are appointed you will find that uh, the control of government is in fact more tighter the other thing is non-compliance if you don't fall in line with what heck is telling you then you will be sent to jail as well your institution could be fined it could be locked down too so this is again a thing right uh, 
Because of these things, because of this fear, we will hardly see any foreign institution will open its branch here in our country. This is a big loss for us. The other thing that uh, micromanaging universities, you know, because of uh, these standards that are already set by HECI and all this... Uh, learning outcomes and evaluation and if you want to change the course or things like that then you have to talk with Hecky so without this thing it is going to means this point number three is going to make this Hecky more you know this education a bit more more regulated rather than uh, providing autonomy the other thing is uh, moral turpitude uh, right uh, how they are as I told you right uh, how they how this vice chairman and chairman the center can remove them anytime. So this is again a sort of moral turpitude. They have to, if they want to stick, or if they want to be there in this post, then of course they have to. Uh, you can easily imagine they have to say yes to what politicians are asking to them. And one size fit, fits all sort of uh, model has been applied. And the other thing is autonomy of state is 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 vanishing with coming off. Hecky or will vanish when Hecky will come in. So what we need to do is we again accessibility is very important thing. One of the reason why we find that uh, kids in our country or youngsters uh, see we have good institutions but accessibility and affordability is a thing that is not available in our country. The other thing is education is it's not just about higher education it starts from lower level from your LKG to your PhD right it's a chain so how well you are uh, taught in your uh, you know lower levels in your standard one standard two three and so on and so forth uh, all these things will matter when you are doing your higher education or when you are in college or masters and what about vulnerable sections are they able to get a proper education high quality education can we safely say this thing that if you are rich or poor you will get top quality education in our country if the answer is no then heck is not going to help us that much we need to give more time to this uh, all this uh, you know stakeholders to come out with some solutions with this uh, mercenary conservation it's about private conservancy rules uh, that has been uh, drafted by Karnataka that means that if you have 100 acre or more than that portion of land then you can convert it into a wildlife private conservancy uh, five percent of that can be used for constructing buildings like a residential thing for like a sort of hotel for visitors ecotourism and rest of it will be 95 percent will be kept for flora and fauna this is something that is going on in africa now because of uh, this sort of private uh, conservancy that is there in africa right they have this bids and trophies as well hunting down animals uh, you pay money and hunt down and you know that the more majestic the animal is the more the money you have to give and sadly right uh, this is celebrated in I'm not uh, against uh, this policy of South Africa means as a as an animal lover or you can say as a a person who who adores nature I would say that yes this is completely wrong uh, but uh, why we are following this African way we don't need this thing right it's so stupid of different governments coming out with this sort of ideas uh, just a couple of days ago we were talking about this compensatory afforestation that means you chop down trees and you like if i chop down one neem tree 10 rupees so i will keep this give this 10 rupees and in this way if we have got 5000 crore rupees then we are saying that we have got 5000 crore rupees this is a big thing this is not a this is the most stupid thing that we are doing we are in fact killing this whole ecosystem i don't know when these politicians will learn uh, that this thing is not actually cool right moving on dear friends uh, our pen drive and tablet course particularly for UPSC is available for 22,500 rupees only if you compare it with your traditional classes then you have to pay on an average 2 lakh rupees now let me take you through some important news item that you find in the Hindu then I will take you through some pink paper news so section 377 government leaves everything on Supreme Court of course Supreme Court will find out a proper solution for this thing adultery uh, must remain punishable has been said by center now the main problem is that uh, you have a man and woman the woman is having relationship with other men 
So this is considered, you know, that the other man will be punished uh, because uh, he had this relationship with this woman who is married without the consent of husband. So the big question is that, what about husband cheating with someone else, right? Uh, will he ask her wife? And there is no person, I believe, will give consent to this sort of things. So rather than just targeting women, so this, is, this was the main question that was raised by Supreme Court, that uh, what right do husband have, right? Uh, as far as this uh, giving green signal to wife is concerned. So this is a, going to be a sort of uh, interesting, you can say, a debate in Supreme Court. Uh, Iran has uh, softened its stand on India's concern and uh, crude oil imports uh, from Iran has been reduced as well, uh, 16%. Uh, ministerial committee opposes this cess on sugar and you can see here Nilgiri Tar. It's a sort of endangered wild goat that you find in Nilgiri's region. A uh, full article is available on the last page of the Hindu. Now, this one is about financial world, right? IT department focuses on reducing uh, uh, litigation. So, the government is focusing on ease of doing business, ease of doing business, as well as the government wants to bring out the number of legislation. So, it is going to raise this threshold or limit. So, in tribunals, right, if you want to file a case, uh, it would be as far as this uh, direct tax and indirect tax sort of cases are concerned uh, right uh, uh, early on it was 10 lakh now it will be 20 high courts 50 lakh and supreme court one crore so this will improve you know taxpayers as well it won't be trouble for them too many cases slow down the whole system so what it means is it will there will be a sharp decline in number of cases once this uh, limits are implemented and the number of decisions appealed will also fall down and the main thing is that the appeals will now apply where substantial point of law is involved moving on to another item uh, india has uh, uh, you know taken over france as far as this biggest economy is concerned we are the sixth biggest economy but when it comes to you know this uh, living standard or per capita income uh, France is uh, somewhere what 20 times ahead of India help yourself with this one you'll find interesting facts about other countries as well these are the 10 biggest uh, economies in the world we are going to take over UK in 2019 or something and then you have this council GST councils meeting is going to take place and uh, uh, GST council is going to get rid of uh, high taxes on uh, sanitary napkins handicraft items and handloom, handloom goods uh, and certain services as well uh, the tax will be reduced on uh, all these items which are necessary and then you have this uh, telecom companies it's about uh, net neutrality right uh, net neutrality will be applied uh, but some items uh, will be exempted from it uh, items such as uh, remote healthcare uh, self driving cars some financial services right this sort of things and telecoms are allowed to manage some traffic for for quality of services security of network emergency services implementing court orders or government directions apart from that everything will be net neutral and this is a report uh, that was uh, i think uh, released by world bank i have to go through this full article but help yourself with this what it has said basically is that uh, not world bank i got the name uh, coming from reuters right uh, reuters said that India is number one when it comes to crime against tourists, right? Particularly women. It's a very dangerous place. So India is not happy with this ranking. Uh, rather than being unhappy, we have to work on this thing. Why we find ourselves, first of all, in this sort of list? This is a big question. 37th, NABAD Foundation Day. What is the main uh, role or uh, duties of Nabad given here. Help yourself with it, dear friends. That's everything in today's discussion. Enjoy your day. Enjoy your studies. God bless you all. Jai Hind.